Just wanted to do a quick update on the winter lettuce and bok choy. Now, a couple of things I've just moved up from the tent. Um, some of the basil and some of the bok choy and cilantro. And so today I'm going to harvest the bok choy here. We're going to make a stir fry up and I'll show you how we do that. But uh, you can see it's really beautiful. It's like the best baby bok choy that we've ever grown. Now I do have some, you know, basil here that has to go in a bigger pot and also some cilantro. And you can see that. So we'll be using that over the next couple of weeks. But I really wanted to, you know, show you how nice this bok choy is. Now I'm, there's a couple little ones in each of the uh, containers too. So I'm just going to cut the big one out and hopefully the little ones will start growing now. But you can see, um really just beautiful uh, nice color nice crispy texture uh, and really filled out for the baby bok choy so this, this definitely is the best one that we've ever grown and you can see when you grow it indoors there's absolutely no waste it's pretty much all perfect and uh, no bug marks no chews or anything else so I'm just gonna drag you through cleaning this up and getting it ready to make a stir fry and just show you how beautiful it is um, just uh, wash it up a little bit and I like using the salad spinner we, we've been using this for years and if you grow any kind of a green uh, we'll be it bok choy lettuce um, even spinach or kale or anything like that these really do help uh, you can wash right in there and then you just spin it and you get about 85 to 90 percent of the water out just from the tropical forest they're definitely uh, helpful to have if you do grow any kind of greens but there it is just just about dry I'm just gonna halfway through I like to flip the leaves because sometimes you've got them round side in and the moisture will come out And there it is. You can see it's pretty much dry now. It's beautiful, and this stuff just tastes so great when you have it in the middle of the winter fresh pick. I think next year I'll probably grow a whole tent full of it. I, I just like it so much, and we like to do the stir fries. So I'm just going to, of course, chop it up here and uh, get it ready for tonight when we do the, uh, the actual stir fry. And right after chopping this, I ran down in the root cellar and I grabbed an onion to put in the stir fry too. Um, these Alyssa onions are actually here's one here. They're just about gone now. A little bit of damage to the outer um, peel on them, but otherwise you can see there they're really beautiful on the inside and still taste really sweet. There's going to be a chicken stir fry that we're making tonight, and got some of the bok choy in there, some of our onions. And uh, carrots and uh, water chestnuts and some peppers and stuff like that. So, just a quick stir fry with chicken, and there it is. And boy, did that taste great, I'll tell you. And we put it on some Chinese noodles that my wife cooked up. So, there it is a quick dinner, um, fresh picked in the morning, and dinner at night. So, now we're going to go down into the grow tent and show you what the lettuce looks like. Now, this is after removing the bok choy in those other cups because it's really getting tight in there. So I'm going to harvest a little bit today. Just doing beautiful and it looks like we should have lettuce for probably two months now. Constant supply of it. So you can see these grow tents. Uh, this one cost me between six and seven dollars a month for electric. Keep it running with the fan and the light. And it just, you know, gives you beautiful lettuce. Uh, First couple I'm going to pick here, I'll tell you, they're just, just gorgeous. You can see the darker green lettuces are the more flavorful ones, too. Let me close that up, and, uh, you know, it's like every day I can go down and harvest some now. Let's go up and take a look at it. This is like a, um, a romaine pipe head, you can see. It started um, filling out, and again, I'm just going to clean it. Probably doesn't really need much of a cleaning, but... I do get a little bit of dirt in them when I'm harvesting them. 
And there's a leafy one with the red tips on it there I'm going to do next. And again, I'm, I'm picking through looking for anything bad. And every once in a while you find a, a little weed that grew in there or a little bad spot. But, you know, otherwise, no problem. And again, this salad spinner gets put to use for any type of green that we pick. Really does help get it, you know, dry and crispy. I'll bore you through watching this thing spin again, and you know it, it really, it really is something worth it. And I tell you what, if if you've got a grow tent or you know a way to provide light to grow lettuce in the winter, it is so easy to grow. And it's been uh, just about exactly five weeks from the day I planted it. Now that we're start that we're you know eating bok choy and starting to eat lettuce, so um, it does not take that long, and we'll have a another two months of five from now on so you know, it's definitely worth growing and the biggest thing is this time of the year just trying to find something that you know like fresh and uh gonna have great taste and you know where it came from so uh really i, I you know i really think it's worth people to uh try growing growing their own greens in the winter because it is sure is simple and as you can see here i really do nothing but i water them about every two to three days and that's about it the rest of it does on its own thanks for watching please subscribe